We've got five rust building tips. If you learned something new, then leave it the video a like. We're gonna start off with something simple and as we go on, it will get harder and harder. So just now, we're gonna be hiding deployables behind other deployables, which is just a smart way to add raid costs, as raiders may not discover the loot. That's one method you can add. Another smart way is just a small box behind another small box in front of your tier three. Good chance this box can be missed during an offline raid or even during an online. It doesn't just have to be loot. You can hide other important deployables such as batteries. A locker covers up a single door really nicely and you can hide things behind there. Lockers are the main go-to for covering up most of these gaps. And there's a couple of ways you can hide loot using that method. If we head upstairs, we can take an average looking loot room and with a bit of box placement, you can actually store a small box behind a large. And this will absolutely get missed as long as you don't lock the boxes. Second up, we're gonna be looking at peaks and how we can improve the peaks on your base. This is a standard window. Adding a half height floor turns it into a patrico. And then from there, we can either plug the bottom or top half to give us different angles and make it harder to hit us. Over here is a really nice concrete barricade peak. The build out for this is a little harder than the rest. It takes some practice on a build server, but once you get it, it certainly pays off. And it's most effective on ground level in your compound. Next up, we have another peak using a rug that doesn't include the entire hitbox. In its design, like the starfish or the heart, we can cover up half of an embrasure so people think you're peeking when you're actually not. They will likely shoot the rug and you're able to swing them on the actual side and most likely kill them. A laser sight lets you see exactly when the rug ends and the peak begins and this will help you get an advantage over anyone that you might be peeking at. Next up, we have pixel gaps. We all know the basic pixel gap here. It has an annoying build out and it's old and boring. Let's do a triangle pixel gap without any build out whatsoever. Start off with two triangles, the perfect space for two boxes. Then clip in the roofs at complete diagonal opposite sides. Then you can place your boxes underneath. Make sure you lock them and upgrade everything. Apart from these two floors, they need to be either adobe or brick the new dlc skin that will give you a pixel gap without any build out whatsoever where you can access those two boxes through the floor if you were to change it to stone which you can do at any time those boxes are no longer accessible and they're nice and safe from raiders moving on to chain link and turret the chain link between a turret and its line of sight is always going to be effective make sure the turret is not too close to the chain link and that will increase the raid cost of your turret. Make sure you're taking advantage of the turret's full range and keep that in mind when placing them. And I don't want to see anyone bamming chain link in their shooting floor frames. Moving on to manipulating conditionals. We're gonna start off with a common one in a breach peak section where two triangle roofs meet and close the gap between them. Mismatching the grade makes them split and allows us to place a triangle half floor here. It's important to remember that no deployable in the game can prevent a conditional and even more stubborn deployables like vending machines still cannot prevent conditional. If we head over here, we have a build order tip. You can see that our breach peak is blocking this foundation and we can simply fix that by manipulating the conditionals of these two roofs. It's important to remember and helpful for building on real servers. Over here we have a multi-TC gap, often found in multi-TC bunker bases. We can manipulate the conditional here by simply rotating the frame. If the wall and the frame are the same grade, the corner conditional will cover that gap. Removing the overhang of a square roof can be done by two triangle roofs meeting in the center. And you can remove the top of a roof by doing the opposite. So if deployables can't affect conditionals, what can? anything on the building wheel here we have one of the most basic conditionals in rust a roof through a full wall and we can break that conditional by adding a wall to the left a wall above or a floor attaching to it 
Another conditional is to same grade, meeting on an angle and creating a conditional corner bump. We can break this conditional by flipping the soft side or again mixing the grade. When it comes to roofs, mismatching the grade of two roofs creates a different kind of conditional where it actually thins down the roofs and if they were to match, then again they would meet in the middle. If you boys learnt something new, then please leave a like.